All right, so hi, y'all. Coming back with more on the Keisha White story. If you haven't seen the first video, please check it out. I'm trying to make sure I get the link in the description. Um, once again, if y'all hear a lot of noise and stuff in the background, please excuse me. I am at the park. I'm so, I'm trying to watch the kids and basically work at the same time. All right. So, uh, Keisha White, where I left off was with the nurse and how the nurse, you know, were you know, tampering with the machine to where no uh, notifications were going through to the technicians or making any sounds in the room where the mother could hear and everything. So pretty much after she turned off the machine or whatever she did with the machine to keep it from sending any uh, vital signs or anything like that to the technician, the nurse, Linda Brixton, Refused to re-enter my daughter's room anymore after that. She has stopped reporting anything else in the reports after 2 a.m. At 2 a.m., I found out from the DHHS that Keisha's oxygen was down to 62%. The nurse did nothing. The technician did nothing. The charge nurse did nothing. The aide found my daughter lifeless at about 5.50 in the morning. It took responders 15 to 16 minutes to get a heartbeat. But by then, she was already brain dead, you know? So, I find like... They're very, very disturbing. You know what I'm saying? Because this mother, you know, was here and she just left to run to the store. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to show you all that. But she left to run to the store. And by the time she returned, you know, all of this was going on. And I'm just like, in all of this time, I feel like she could have been notified or something. But the hospital failed in several several areas, including having a uh, supervisor staffed. The workers claimed they had no one to call or tell to report the nurse not doing her job. I got back to the hospital that morning in time to hear the the cold blue from um from her room. Okay, well for her room, I never suspected the staff but historically that was one of the best hospitals in the state and is still a level one trauma center so you know even at first it wasn't like she played the blame game or anything because she truly felt that her child was you know in like the best of care uh this hospital is supposed to have you know a good reputation and good reviews on it and stuff so you know she really felt comfortable with leaving her baby in the care of those physicians you know what i'm saying but after you know getting the reports and everything and to see what was really and truly going on, then, you know, how was this mother supposed to feel? Because I'm quite sure she looked this nurse dead in the eye, and this nurse, you know, gave her some Alabama BS about how everything is going to be all right. She's going to do the best she can. Uh, when she was tampering with the machine, probably telling her, like, well, we're just going to do this to see what's going on on the other end or something you know and all along she's being like a total disgrace to that hospital and then so a supervisor wasn't on duty so that means that this nurse had plenty of room for all kind of mischief and nobody would know anything but 
my thing is, like I said in the first video, when I was saying the technician should have called, somebody should have called. So if the supervisor wasn't there, then who's your next in line to call? Because at the end of the day, all of this negligence should have been reported. And not only should charges have been brought against this nurse, charges should have been brought on several others that was, you know, on staff that night and then here's my thing so if the doctors felt that this child was you know heading downhill first of all I feel like notifying the mother of the well-being of her child should have been like you know the first priority like hey you know this is what's going on and this is what is bound to happen but to ensure her that everything's going fine, that things are looking better, you know, and then to leave for a couple hours and come back and boom, she has no child. Something just doesn't sit well with me. You know what I'm saying? And if, and if it was that serious and the doctors knew it was that serious, then Usually a hospice nurse is called in around that time. You know, you can't just leave the family out of the in, in the dark if something's finna go wrong. So since none of that was um, happening or taking place, that further leads me to believe and, and led her to believe that, you know, this nurse has something to do with this. This nurse is really, you know, acting unprofessional. You know, at the end of the day. And so after getting the reports and seeing what the reports are saying, why wasn't charges brought against this nurse? Why wasn't charges brought against other co-workers to this nurse? They could have done something and didn't. So y'all get down in the comments and tell me what you all think. So... What my next step is to do is to dig into more about this whole machine, um, you know, thing. Because I had some people in the comments, you know, telling me this, that, and the other about machines. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig into that a little more, and I'm gonna get back with you on that. But I appreciate the comments. And in the um, help and support that everybody had gave down in the comment section. I even saw the mother down there. And I mean, y'all just don't know just by, you know, y'all seeing this is probably, you know, uplifting her spirit. Because now she knows that other people are seeing what is going on and we can kind of stir up this pot and put some fire under it and try to get justice for this mother in the name of her her daughter Keisha White so I'm gonna come back with some more information on this story and I would love to see you guys in the comments. Once again, my email is open, moneystackstv at gmail.com. If you have any helpful information or resources, please email them to me um, or get down in the comments, leave your email and I'll contact you or the mother can see it and she may personally want to contact you. So thank you all for watching. And please thumbs up this video and share, share, share.